Welcome! This video shows all the rigging accessories for the SL series. The main rigging component is the flying frame. It consists of two parts that always belong together. The SL flying frame and its attachable load beam. The flying frame has two recesses in the front and a rear splay link to connect to the first cabinet. It also features an opening at the front and an integral mounting plate for the D&B array site sender unit, which combines a laser aiming device, an inclinometer, a thermometer and hygrometer. With the array site readout unit, all parameters can be monitored remotely. Two shackles are provided to connect the two leg safety chain. The load beam can be mounted to the frame in two orientations. In standard mode, it extends to the back. This provides a lot of down tilt capability. It can also be mounted extending to the front in situations where significant up tilt is required. The load beam mounting mode and possible achievable vertical angles can be simulated in array calc by choosing the respective option. A hoist connector chain is available to prevent the motor's chain bag from touching the array. A naming plate is also available to adjust the horizontal orientation of the array. SL introduces a compression rigging mode. This allows to rig the array straight and to adjust the final curvature later. A dedicated compression set is necessary and contains the bottom compression frame, a compression chain with grab link, the compression master link, a chain bag and a manual lever hoist. How to make use of the compression set will be shown in detail in the following chapter. SL travels on touring carts, which can carry up to four top cabinets and are also part of the rigging system. To protect the cabinets during transportation, quick remove covers are available. Both the flying frame and the load beam can also travel on the cart. The cover features extension zippers to fit all parts properly. <laughs> 